Sterling servicing the scrum one by Parramatta open side goes Sterling trying to do it on his own he tackled 10 metres out from his line East have another replacement on or ready to come on I should say this is Mark Laurie in 26 jumper Craig Perugia off goes Steve Ella now that man you just saw injured for East is Mike Eden Sharp giving it down to Cronin Cronin across to Duffy Duffy gets a pass away to Laurie Laurie gets a pass on out to Cronin Cronin well held there by Mackay got a pass to Steve Edge they're promoting an opening Hunt's pass oh gee they're anxious passes he goes Gross heading off back into the centre of the ground and he's still going to the halfway line and he's the fellow that can turn the game for Parramatta given the opportunity now they've got a spin left east of very brittle out there beautiful pass by Sterling to Sharp inside the little yard onto Ella Ella's heading to the line pulled down not held still not held now Kenny Kenny's in Kenny has scored for Parramatta players down all over the field injured I can see three three different sets of players down injured but this was a magnificent ball by Sterling he picked up Sharp Sharp found Lydia the ringer in the replay then saw Steve Ella ankle tap not held up away from Mick Ryan then Brett Kenny his partner on the kangaroo tour so successful was this combination and Kenny's under the uprights Graham Hughes it certainly was a great ball from Sterling to set them on their way I thought again that the movement was going to fall down right here Ella looked as though he was down again but just managed to find Kenny and they finally put it all together going under the post for a fine try well eight minutes from full time Brett Kenny has scored for the Eels a tense match Cronin makes no mistake and Parramatta lead by 12 points to four we waited for 71 minutes into the match to see the try when they played Canterbury when people said well they're gone the Roosters they got up and won it well it certainly was uh, but I'd be more than surprised if they managed to get their way out of this one Neil Hunt across the ground beating one up the centre goes Hunt again Edge is with him Ellis coming support. up on his other side here's Kenny Kenny's off three seconds they won't catch Kenny Kenny's heading in three seconds in as many minutes well Neil Hunt hasn't he had a game hasn't Neil Hunt had a game Frank Arena replay this young man who I told you about last week when Jack Gibson first came to the Eels, he seemed as though he was destined to spend his time in reserves. Lesser players probably would have looked for a new contract, but he hung in there. And then he's picked up the, the cream of playing with the Parramatta Premiership winning side and a brilliant game today, giving Brett Kenny his second try. He's had a fine game. He's very strong off the left foot. Watch him step here and go all the way. Underrated two for pace is Neil Hunt, but uh, full credit to Kenny here who realised David Michael, a much quicker player, was on his trail, positioned himself by coming infield. Kenny gave himself a free run to the line and goes in for his second try, well, in about 60 seconds. Brett Kenny, the champion, centre three quarter, 5 8. An off, an off field confrontation between the Eels supporters and the Eastern Suburbs cheer squad. There's not much attention to the Michael Cronin conversion, but it is successful. A seven-point try, right? Oh, I'm sorry. He has given the set the eight-pointer, Graham. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> eight-pointer. I don't know whether this is the first of its kind in first grade, certainly in a telecast match. Certainly in a telecast match that we've had it is. Of course, there was no need for uh, Ron Gibbs uh, to hit Kenny uh, as he went down. He was a long way from him once the ball had touched, and, uh, well, this is more adding more uh, salt into the wound. 
Well, we'll see that incident. I'm sure we'll pick it up for you. What happened? We went straight to the replay. 20 points to four. Here's the, the try by Kenny, and then he's ruled that Gibbs came in late, and that's not like Steve Eller. In the match earlier, has been, to my way of thinking, one of Parramatta's most dangerous players. Sterling, the switch with Lydiard. Well and truly inside the last five minutes now. Sterling, Neil Hunt, Eric Grove, Grove, over halfway, girl to beat, chased by Michael, Grove is running very hard, and he's in. Oh, the Eels have carved them up in the last few minutes. Well, I have always subscribed to the fact that David Michael was the fastest winger in Sydney football. But Eric Grove took off. And Marty Gurr, I thought, had ample time to cover. But there goes the determination of Eric Grove. The legs pumping like pistons. Michael not making any ground. And then Gurr suddenly realised that he had mistimed his tackle completely. And Grove's in for another Parramatta try. Well, it's interesting you mentioned the pace of Eric Grove. In talking to Chris Anderson recently, Ray, he, he rated Eric Grove over 100 yards, the fastest man in the, in the game. Maybe not over 20 or 30, but he said once he's wound up, well, as you can see there, there's no stopping him. That's the Rank Arena replay of the try scored by Eric Grove, the 23-year-old wing three-quarter, who as a pastime enjoys playing guitar and singing. And I reckon he would have been singing his way to that try line then because he's had a frustrating game in a lot of respects, Eric Groth, today. 24 to 4. From 6 points to 4 to 24 to 4. Peter Thalingos, our chief statistician of a Sunday. In how many minutes did this all happen? The Cronin kick. He's got it. Yes, Cronin's kicked it. In five minutes, 20 the scoring mightn't be finished yet. 